They say if NVH bothers you, then don't mod your car. But what exactly is NVH? So NVH stands for noise, vibration, and harshness. Now these are all things that automotive engineers work extremely hard to remove from vehicles, yet enthusiasts regularly add it by doing chosen modifications. Now both noise and vibration are measurable. Harshness is purely subjective like the sound of an exhaust system. What some people find harsh, other people find completely acceptable. Now noise, vibration, and harshness are usually internal or external to the vehicle, with internal being far more common. Now let's break that NVH into the three individual sections and discuss them. Let's start by talking about noise. There are going to be basically three sources of noise in your vehicle, not including questionable music choices. The first one is going to be mechanical noise, and that's exactly what you think it is. That's the engine, the transmission, the differential, the brakes, any moving mechanical part that can create noise. The second noise is going to be aerodynamic noise. Now, this is commonly wind noise, which is often created by poor fitting body panels or worn out weather stripping. The last one is going to be electrical noise. Now, electrical noise is not as common, but one of the more common ones is going to be an alternator whine that's heard through your speakers, usually caused by a bad ground. Now, let's talk vibration. While noise is somewhat easy to distinguish, vibration is a little more difficult. Now, vibration is that motion or shaking felt inside the vehicle by the driver and the passengers. Now, for a perfect example of it, if you've ever driven over a rumble strip, that is vibration. You hit those bumps and you feel it throughout the entire vehicle. Now, vibration can be caused by a lot of things. Unbalanced driveline is very popular, but also wheels and tires and several other things can contribute to it. So let's talk about harshness. Like I said before, noise and vibration are measurable. Harshness is going to be purely subjective. Now, harshness is basically how well the car handles the road and what is transmitted to the driver and passenger. And again, like I mentioned before, it's going to vary from person to person and it is purely subjective. A perfect example of harshness is take somebody for a ride in your modified car who's never been in a fast car before. You're perfectly comfortable with the speed and the sound and that stiff suspension, all the things that make a car fun and fast, yet you take a non-enthusiast in that car and often they're gonna be afraid and think you actually ruined it. So how do you address NVH? Well, the best way to get rid of it is to not modify your car in the first place, but honestly, that's not gonna happen. So let's talk about how much NVH you can handle. And again, that's gonna vary from person to person. One of my favorite events right now are the drag and drive events. And basically what you're doing there is you're racing at four to five different drag strips and you're driving a thousand plus miles in a week with no trailer. Now the cars that do this, some of them are extremely fast, like low sixes, which is unheard of for a street car. But keep in mind, these are street cars only because they can drive from track to track. These are not comfortable. They have NVH for days. They're loud. They're very, very uncomfortable in many cases to drive to these tracks, but they're capable of doing it, which is amazing in itself. Now, when engineers design these cars, they go to great lengths to get rid of NVH. They have resonators, they have dampers, they have sound deadening, all things to make the car as quiet and comfortable as possible. Then us enthusiasts get our hands on them, and we change all that with modifications. Now, lowering springs, low profile tires, ladder exhaust are all going to create additional NVH that these engineers tried to get rid of. So again, how much can we handle? Well, that's entirely up to the owner. And will we ever stop modifying our cars? You know, probably not. The automotive aftermarket industry is worth hundreds of billions of dollars a year, which means most of us are probably okay with a little additional NVH.